Hey Snoopy fans, I'm Paige Braddock. I work at Charles Schultz's studio in Northern California, and I thought it'd be fun today, while we're at home, if we draw some comics. Okay, let's draw Snoopy. We're gonna do a circle first. This is the back of his head. And then we're gonna do another circle that overlaps. This is the front of his head. And then we're gonna do a little kind of teardrop shape for his body. And he's sitting on the doghouse because that's what he likes to do. We're gonna do his feet, which are ovals that kind of slant backwards just a little bit. That's a front foot and a back foot. All right, that's the basic shape of Snoopy. Now, I drew these lines lighter so I can go back over them and make them darker. So, we're gonna do Snoopy's head shape <laughs> and his neck, the back of his head, comes down and makes his ear. And this is his neck. I maybe came up a little bit too far on that. I'll make that a little bit darker. Okay, he's sitting on the doghouse. I'm gonna darken this line up just a little bit. Here's his tail with a little drop shadow. One foot. He's got short stubby legs and big feet. Paw lines, paw lines. There's his arm, he's got a little back spot. He has a collar. All right, now Schultz always did these really nice, loose, dark lines for his ear and he left little like white highlights there. And then we're gonna put his eyes kind of in the middle of his head, eyebrows. Nose. All right. I feel like his nose needs to come in a little bit more right there. We're gonna come down with the doghouse. Doghouse shape. A little drop shadow. It's a nice sunny day. Boards of the doghouse. And the final detail a smile because his friend Woodstock is coming to visit. Hey Peanuts fans, I'm Paige. I work at the uh, Schultz Studio in Northern California and I'm going to take a few minutes this morning and show you guys how to draw Charlie Brown. So with Charlie Brown, we start with his head. He has a big round head. Well, that's amazing, Linus. So we're going to make a light circle for his head. And it's a little bit more of an oval than a perfect circle, so I made it a little bit more of like an egg shape. And then his body. I may be gutless. But by golly, you don't have to feel that way. It's down like this. And if you were to measure this and this, they're about the same uh, height. So his head is almost, his head all by itself is almost as big as his body. And then we're gonna loosely draw in where his feet would go. His feet are like little loaves of bread. And they're much closer to his body than you would think because his legs are really short. What we need to figure out next is where his ears and his nose are going to go. So if you made a cross line across his head like this and you made another one like this, this gives you sort of positioning. So the top of his ear hits right there. He has a little back, a bit of his back ear showing. His nose is kind of in a sideways U and it sits right on this line. And then his eyes kind of go right there. He's got a little curly cue of hair. I'm gonna do, this is where his neck will go. I'm gonna roughen where his shorts go. His shorts go are really low, like almost like he needs to tuck his shirt in, but he forgot. And then his, his index finger touches the line of his shorts and his fingers come up next to it like that. He's got a zigzag shirt too that he always wears. So we're gonna loosely do that. So see, I've done all this in light and now I'm gonna go back over it and darken it up a little bit. So 
curve of his head comes down. His ears right here. His chin. Put his neck right here. He's got a collar on his shirt. Charlie Brown doesn't have shoulders really. His shoulders just kind of come down like that. And then we're gonna just draw in his back arm. You can kind of just barely see his back arm right there. Sleeve, fingers. That's the bottom of his shirt. This is the bottom of his shorts. We're gonna loosely put some black in there. Schultz always did this really nice thing where he left some white space. And maybe even have his shoes need to come up a little bit more because his legs are really short. I can see it. I'm really visualizing. I'm visualizing. He's got socks on. He's got shoelaces. All right, now let's go back to his face. I'm gonna darken his nose. I'm gonna darken his eyes. He's got little eyelashes, a little curly cue of hair. He's got a big smile. And last but not least, his famous zigzag shirt. That's Charlie Brown. Snoopy's pal Woodstock. He's a funny looking bird. And we're gonna start the same way we did with Snoopy. We're gonna draw two circles for Woodstock's head. The one in the back is a little bit bigger and they're gonna overlap. And then we're gonna do a light shape for his body right here. Charles Schultz's characters, the heads are always really big and the bodies are really small. We have feet, he's got feet, he's got a tail. The funny characteristic about Woodstock is his head feathers. So he has this one really big head feather that comes down the front and sort of makes the front of his head. And then that's his neck. So you got this one really nice curvy line. You're sort of following your circles, right? And then you've got one head feather, and then he's got this sort of cowlick V feather in the back. One, two, three. He's got crazy hair. The last feather, the bottom, makes the back of his neck, and then you go down for his body. Okay, this is the basic shape of Woodstock. You're not gonna add his tail little bird legs, little crazy bird feet, which are really loose. He's got a wing, although he can't fly very well. He has eyes sort of in the middle of his head where this other circle crosses, eyebrows, and a smile. That's Woodstock. My name is Paige Braddock. I work at Charles Schultz's studio in Northern California, and I'm going to take a few minutes today and show you how to draw Lucy. So Lucy is a complicated character. I usually start by drawing a circle for her head. Just make a loose light circle. And then her neck is like right here. And then her body is a little triangle. She's wearing a dress. So visualize a dress with a skirt. Got a little triangle with a little skirt on it. This is the shoulder. She has these puffy sleeved dresses that she likes to wear. And then legs with socks. And peanuts, they have big feet. They have short arms and big feet for their size. Hmm. Um, my dad would say they have a good foundation. 
I'm going to rough in where her arm goes. In this pose, she's going to be kind of, maybe she's stressed out. Maybe she's a little annoyed, um, as Lucy is prone to be. So she's making kind of a fist. This is her back arm. Now, the Van Pelts, if you make a circle for their head, the Van Pelts all have this interesting little forehead indention, like right about here, that comes in like a little kind of half C right there. So we're going to follow that. We're going to make her cheek come down and around. This is where her back ear would be. Yes! That's it! Okay, let's duck in that up. So see what you're doing? You're making light shapes and then you're going back in with darker lines. So Lucy has a lot going on with her hair also. She's got this circle front, this sort of like part that comes out here. She's basically got three circles. There's one, two, three, and then a little fourth one for sort of the side of her hair. And then the top of her hair, if this is the top of her head, her hair comes up above her head a little bit makes a little arch like that. She's got one other curl back here. It has a little wild hair that comes out. She's got one more on this side. And her back ear is right there. Now if you did a line, sort of like this, across her face, a slight arc line from the bottom of her ear to the bottom of the other ear, this is right about where her nose sits. Right about there. All right, let's go back to the body. We're gonna do her neck. She's got a little shadow because she has this big head. Um, she's got a nice little collar to her dress. This is the part of her, it's the front of her dress. Her puppy sleeve that has a little detail right there. Cap of her sleeve. Her fingers and a little fist. Are you out of your mind? What are you trying to do? Disgrace our family? She has these nice little details on the front of her dress, like little buttons kind of right there. There's her back sleeve, her skirt, legs, socks. Lucy always wears saddle oxfords. I don't know if you know what those are. They're, they're white shoes that have like black right here. She always wears the same shoes. Okay, now we're going to go back to her hair because she doesn't look quite right until you darken in her hair. So we're going to darken this line, and darken this line, and darken this line, and darken this, and darken this top one. And she always, Schultz always left a nice little highlight at the top of her hair, um, the edge of the black. We're going to make this dark. Well, what kind of mood is, is Lucy in? Let's see. I think she's in this sort of mood. Van Pelts always have these funny little parentheses around their eyes, too. So always remember, the invention here, parentheses there. And that's Lucy. Charles Schultz's studio in Northern California and today I'm going to take a few minutes and show you guys how to draw Linus. I'm going to show you guys how to draw Linus Van Pelt and we're going to start with a circle for his head and I'm just going to make it really light because I'm going to go back over it and darken it and then we're going to do his body which is really if you measure the top of his head, if you measure that distance, his body is almost the same height as his head. And he has little loaf bread feet. 
front, front foot and the back foot. And he's wearing shorts, so we're going to put his legs in. He's very short little legs. Okay. So this is his shirt. These are his shorts, his legs, his shoes. Okay. The Van Pelts all have this interesting head shape. Unlike Charlie Brown, which is basically a circle, the Van Pelts all have this little sort of indent right here where their forehead comes out like this. You gotta get that line right to get the shape. Charlie Brown, look at this. We're gonna, we're gonna rough in, um, Linus likes to suck his thumb and carry a blanket. So we're gonna rough in his arm here, which Schultz always did arms on Linus that almost look like a drumstick. You can imagine a drumstick kind of fat at the elbow down here. And we're gonna put his other arm on this side, holding the blanket. Also sort of shaped like a drumstick. See what we have so far? Now he's going to be holding a blanket that's going to come up like this. He has this nice pointed curve right here. It comes all the way down, covers half his feet. It drags on the ground a little bit because he's a little kid and he's a little bit short. So now we have all the shapes roughed in for Linus. We're going to come back and do the shape of his head first. Darken this, make his little indent, his cheek, his chin. Look, she's holding his hand. Here's fingers. His arm. There's a little bit of his shirt sleeve showing right there. Here, right here, shows just a little bit. His other arm, got a little bit of sleeve showing there. His shirt, shorts. Schultz always did uh, really nice loose black areas for the shorts. He has a striped shirt on. He's got socks. He's got shoes, shoelaces. All right, let's draw on the blanket. I think Linus was one of my favorite characters because I had a little brother who also carried a blanket for quite a long time. That's showing the folds and the blanket. Okay, let's draw Linus's nose. It's kind of in the middle of his head right here. It's kind of like a sideways, well, either a U or a sideways C. It's kind of a, not a completely rounded. It's a little bit squared off. And then his eyes are really close to his nose. And he has the Van Pelt parentheses for his eyes. And he's a little shadow right there for his chin. Now for his hair. Linus has kind of messy hair. So his hair kind of comes over his head and down. And then he usually has like one, two little stragglers like that. And that's Linus. Braddock and I work at Schultz's studio in Northern California and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw Sally. Sally has a head shaped very similar to her brother Charlie Brown. It's not a perfect circle. It's almost like a, like an egg shape. So the first thing we're going to do is sort of loosely sketch where her head would go and then we're going to 
draw where her neck would be. Sally Brown. And then we're gonna do a little kind of triangle shape for her dress, the main part of her dress. And then she has a little skirt on her dress. It's kind of, I'm making it too big, a little bit short. This is the sleeve. Her sleeve's gonna be kind of a puppy sleeve right there. Let's rough in her legs. She has nice, short, cartoony legs. And her feet are kind of like little flat loaves of bread. And little socks, little socks. Okay, now we're gonna go back to her head. So one of Sally's defining features is her hair. She has this nice kind of wild curly section at the front. And then she has these little pointed, I don't know what you call these, but these little pointed turned up bits on either side that come down and they go behind her head right about there. So you see how I'm doing all these lines really lightly because we're gonna go back and darken everything up. We're gonna draw a line across her head right here to tell us where her ears go. She kind of has a big ear on this side and then her little back ear is kind of hidden right there. Now her face line comes down all the way. This is a solid line all the way around to her neck. Then her hair just kind of drops in right here a little bit. All right, we're gonna go back and darken all these up in a second. All right, crazy curly bit right here. little side. Sometimes when Schultz was inking this, he he would have a little, the line would come in a little bit like that, but it's different when you're drawing with a pencil. All right, so we drew this little line from the top of the ear. That's also to show us where her nose kind of sits right here. And her eyes are really close to her nose. She has eyebrows. All right, let's finish her outfit. So she's got a little collar on her dress. Nice little collar. She's got a little poofy sleeve. Wow, everyone says you don't know anything, but you'll always be smart to me, big brother. Four fingers, nice short little arm. This is her back sleeve. Only a little bit of that shows. Had a couple of wrinkles. And she had, always had a little bow at the back of her dress. We'll just loosely put that in. And usually she wore a pink polka dotted dress. And she always pulled her socks down twice. Schultz had a, this really nice, loose, organic uh, inking style, which makes his characters really hard to um, to uh, imitate. Okay, what are we missing? Oh, I think we need one more detail right here. Sally's really happy because she's waiting on her sweet babu. I can darken everything really nicely. And that's Sally. at Schultz's studio in Northern California and I'm going to show you guys how to draw Schroeder today. For Schroeder, we're going to draw Schroeder sitting at his piano because that's normally where he is. So I'm going to figure out, I'm going to, I'm going to sketch really lightly, I'm going to figure out where his head is going to be. Make it a little light circle. And then his back, he's kind of curved, he's got a curved back because he's hunched over his piano. Um, he usually has his knees bent, so this is where his knee is going to go. This is one arm, 
right arm comes up by his face. He's expressively playing, and his elbow almost touches his knee right here. So we've got the general shape. His piano, we're going to put his foot right here. It's complicated to get all these, uh, this position right, and it may take you a couple of tries. So his piano is almost, if you drew a line at where his toe is, it's almost even at the top of his toe, and almost even with where he's sitting on the ground. That kind of gives you the, uh, the size, of the, the height of the piano. Okay, now Schroeder has very interesting hair. Um, I usually do a little arced line right here across his face. So I've cut the circle in half. This shows me approximately where his ear will go and where his hairline will go. And then he has this little tuft of hair at the front, kind of curls around and comes up. And then the back of his head, so if this is his shape of his head, his hair actually comes up a little bit. He's got a little cowlick right there, and then it comes out a little bit right there. So you can see he's got a little bit of a rounded hairstyle. All right, now we're going to start to darken this up a little bit. The shoulder, his arm, we'll add his fingers, he's playing the piano, short sleeve shirt. This is his chin, so this is his neck right here. So I normally, I have to turn it a little bit to get his profile right. He has, it's a little divot right here, like a little part of you, and then his nose, and then the rest of his profile right there. So I start going through and darkening up things. Eyes very close right there. So stuck in this hair, make sure we're getting this right. These very short legs. They're in socks and shorts. She almost looks like a sort of a llama bean. And there we can see a little bit of his back shoe. I'm put his shoelaces in. All right, let's add the piano. So. It's a kid's piano, not a real piano, right? So it's kind of small. Let's just go and get it right here. There's two legs up front. wears a purple shirt with kind of thick stripes. And his shorts are always black. Shorts always did, always did these really uh, nice, loose black areas. I'm going to forget his shirt sleeve. I'm going to darken this up a little bit. Oh, he's missing his other hand. Let's add that. So we're just going to be able, from this angle, we're just going to be able to see a little bit of his other hand. That's his thumb. Peanuts fans, I'm Paige Braddock and I work at Charles Schultz's studio in Northern California and today we're going to draw Peppermint Patty. 
first to draw Para Patty, we're going to draw a circle for her head. And I'm going to draw it kind of lightly because I'm going to go back over it later and darken it up. So not quite a circle, a little bit more of a, an oval kind of egg shape. And then her neck is right here. And then her body comes down. Her body is about the same size as her head, maybe just a little bit less, kind of a triangle. Um, that's the funny thing about Peanuts characters. They have very big heads and small bodies. She has two legs. And we're just going to rough down the shape of her feet right now. We're not going to do details. We're going to come back for that later. So Purple Patty has um, this really great hair bit that comes up at the top. I don't know what you would call that. But she's got a little clump of hair at the top of her head. And then the sides come down. She has a few strands that come down like this on both sides. Now, I usually draw a line across her face, kind of like this, to tell me where her nose should go. Now, Herman Patty has kind of a, a big round nose. It's bigger than Charlie Brown's, bigger than Lucy's, um, kind of a reverse C. And then her eyes are really close to her nose. They're like right here. She has freckles. She's outside playing sports a lot. We're going to just lightly rough in her smile. Okay, now we're going to go back and do um, her shirt. She has a collar shirt on. Her shirt comes down pretty far, and at the very bottom are going to be shorts. And she's wearing a short sleeve shirt. Nina's characters also have very short arms and legs, so her arms don't go out very far. I'll roughly do her fingers, thumb, and four fingers. I think I got her thumb a little bit off on that side. Okay, now we're gonna go back and start darkening up a little bit. So I'm gonna do her hair first. We're gonna add some dark lines. see her whole head. All you see is her chin come across like this and just cut into her hair just a little bit. Got a little bit of a shadow because of her head. Smile. striped shirt, so we'll add some stripes. Darken her hands. I didn't follow my sketch exactly because I think I got that arm a little bit long. We'll do her shorts. Schultz always did these really nice loose blacks. Uh, he didn't fill every space when he was coloring them. Now, the funny thing about Para Patty, if you know her, is she always wore sandals, even in the wintertime. So you gotta draw her toes, and remember that your big toe is on the inside. So the toe on the inside should be the larger toe. We're gonna add her sandals. Don't really know how she played football and baseball in sandals, but somehow she pulled it off. Okay, one more strip right there. Peppermint Patty. Hello Peanuts fans, my name is Paige Braddock. I work at Charles Schultz's studio in Northern California and I thought it'd be fun today if we draw Marcy. So to draw Marcy, we're gonna start with her head. We're gonna draw a nice circle um, kind of a kind of an oblong shape. 
I mean, not a perfect circle. And we're gonna draw it kind of lightly because we're gonna go back over it later. This is just to give us an idea of space. And we're gonna do her neck. Marcy kind of has a little, slightly longer neck than some of the other Peanuts characters. She usually wears an orange t-shirt. I'm gonna draw her t-shirt, which is basically just a triangle that kind of morphs into her shorts. She's usually, most of the Peanuts characters wear shorts year round. I'm gonna do just a little suggestion of this is where her hand will go later. This is where her shorts are. She's got little short Peanuts legs. And um, the Peanuts characters have, their feet are kind of like little loaves of bread. That's how I kind of think about them. Kind of rounded. So that's the rough shape of feet, legs, body, and head. Now. Marcy has very unique hair. She has this bit that kind of comes up right here. We're just gonna sketch this in. It comes down like this. And then comes down in the back, kind of like, it's like a bob, kind of. And then on the other side, she just has one little bit of hair that comes down on this side, kind of flattens out her face on that side. So we're really only gonna draw her chin right here. I'm gonna do a line here to show where her nose should go. I'm gonna lightly do a little nose. She has a smaller nose than some of the other characters. And her real signature feature is her glasses. Marcy always wears glasses. And for whatever reason, Schultz didn't draw her pupils. So the top part of her nose ends up being the bridge of the glasses. This. And then we're going to come back in and darken her hair. And um, it wasn't solid black. It had little highlights, kind of like Lucy's hair. But it was black right in here. And then this little part right here was black. And there was usually like kind of one sort of wild hair. Same on the back, just loosely. That in. Lots of times Marcy was perplexed, so we're just going to give her sort of a nondescript kind of expression. Do a little drop shadow on her neck, collar of her t shirt, shorts the shirt, fingers. I think I'm a left brain person. Whoops. Good to draw in pencil. These are her shorts. We're not gonna fill them in either. We're just gonna do a loose little black right there. Her t-shirt has a fold right in the front. You can just barely see her back arm. Socks, shoelaces. And that's Marcy. fans, I'm Paige Braddock. I work at Charles Schultz's studio in Northern California, and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw Franklin. We're going to draw Franklin, and I'm thinking what we should do, what would be nice, is a side view of Franklin walking. So I'm going to figure out where his head's going to go. Nice light circle. I'm going to go back over and darken this later. I'm going to put his neck kind of in the middle of his head right here. It's cool where he is. So he's got on a jacket. So that's a collar. His body is kind of a triangle shape. He does characters have really short legs. So I'm just going to lightly sketch where his legs go and not not very well-defined knees. Um, so if you draw like really specific knees on these characters, then they look off model. Okay, then we're gonna just rough in where his feet go. Peanuts characters have these little 
loaf bread feet. It's funny because the, the toes, the heels almost come out as far as the toes on Schultz's character's feet. Uh, not much shoulder or elbow either, although I'm going to do this where his hand is in his pocket. So we're going to see a little bit of a, a little bit of curve in his arm that looks like an elbow. All right. Now I've drawn a circle, but I'm going to do Franklin. We're going to draw Franklin in profile. So I'm going to put a line here as a point of reference. It's going to tell me where his ear is going to go. He's a nice big ear and where his nose is going to end up. So this is about the bottom where his nose is going to be. But we're going to have his forehead come in here. Just lightly figuring out where his nose is going to go, and I'll come back and darken it later. I think I got the shape a little bit wrong. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. This is why you draw lightly, so you can go back and fix it if you, uh, if you get it slightly off. All right, I'm sort of liking the shape of this. Don't quite have the nose right. The funny thing about uh, Schultz's characters is they're so deceptively simple that if you get the least little line off, they start to not look right. You see how I moved his collar up a little bit? I'm starting to darken this just to make sure I have things in the right position. Franklin usually wore striped pants. And sometimes his shoes had these little soles on them. Shoelaces. All right, and then he had curly hair right at the top of his head, right here. Kind of loose. Schultz didn't fill it in all the way, and it didn't come all the way down his back, the back of his head. It kind of stopped right there. But his. Braddock. I work at Charles Schultz's studio in Northern California, and today we're going to draw one of my favorite characters, Pigpen. For Pigpen, we're going to start with his head. All the penis characters have big round heads, and Pigpen is no exception. Um, so I'm going to lightly kind of draw a circle where his head would go, and then I'm going to do kind of a rectangle, rectangle shape, but almost a square it's going to be his body. It's a rectangle, but it's, it's narrower on the top. Here's his head. Here's his neck. We're going to do light lines where his legs are going to go. He has short legs. Here's his feet. All right. Well, those characters don't really have shoulders, so we're just going to rough in where his sleeve would be, and then where his arm would be. All right, we'll come back to that later. So one of the things, uh, aside from his dust cloud, Pigpen always, one of his signatures is he always wears overalls. So I'm gonna do his overalls. And the shorts. Put his back on in here just a little bit. Add a 
his toe a little too much there. Okay, and we're gonna come back to his face. So what I normally do to figure out where his ears and his nose go is I do a cross mark like this, sideways and top to bottom. This tells me where his ear goes. This is his back ear, where his nose sits, it's right here. And then I know, then I'll know where to place his eyes. So one of the funny things about, uh, another funny thing about Pigpen is his hair. He has really crazy hair. So I'm gonna darken the shape of his head. Crazy hair. Kind of like Linus is a little bit, uh, but his stands up a lot more. I'm gonna give him a big smile because he's happy with his crazy hair. Okay, then the fun part about Big Pen is adding all the dirt. So we're gonna just do some rough lines all around his face, up in his hair. Don't put it right over his um, his features. Just kind of all around the outside. Then we're going to add it to his overalls. He's a mess. And then the final touch for pig pen is his dust cloud, which he carries with him everywhere. Little specks of dust in there. And that's pig pen. I work at the Schultz Studio in Northern California, and today we're going to draw Snoopy hugging Woodstock. One of um, my favorite poses of Snoopy is when he hugs Woodstock. So that's the pose we're going to do now. So if you remember, if you watched the very first video about how Snoopy, how to draw Snoopy sitting, this is very similar. So because we're going to draw Snoopy in a sitting pose, so we're drawing two circles for his head and his snout. We're going to do those really lightly because we're going to go back over and darken them. And then we're going to do a little kind of teardrop shape for his body. We're curving it slightly. Uh, normally it would be kind of straight up and down, but we're going to curve it because he's going to be actively hugging Woodstock in this pose. We're going to rough in where his feet go. And Snoopy's feet are really big. When he sits down, they're, they come, they, you know, come way up on his body if you compare them for size. So we're gonna do where his feet are. His tail's right here. We're gonna go back and say this is where Woodstock's head is gonna go. He's gonna be snuggled right in under Snoopy's snout. All right. So now let's go back in and just like first we will do a line like right across here. This is gonna show us where his nose goes and where his ear starts. So I'm going to just loosely, slightly darken this in We'll make sure we get the shape right because there's a lot of, a lot of little components to this pose because we want to get his neck right, we want to make sure Woodstock's head is in there correctly, here's Woodstock's head, his little head feathers, he always has this little V right there. Snoopy has short arms, but he is giving Woodstock a beagle hug. So here's one arm. Actually, I should do this the other way. I'm going to change this hand and make this hand go this way. This is why you draw lightly so you can really draw. And then this arm will be in the background. There we go. Show his hand right here. Okay. All right, so let's darken this up a little bit. Here, back of his neck. He has a spot right there. This is his 
foreground arm. We're going to just do a show his elbow. His fingers. Fingers of his back hand. See how he's giving Woodstock a real beagle bear hug. This leg right here. And when the characters hug, you kind of notice that they always, um, they always close their eyes because they're happy. So I'm going to add his collar. Woodstock's eyes are closed. Smokey's eyes are closed. He's got his eyebrows right there. Schultz always did these really nice, loose, black areas for Smokey's ear. I'm Paige Braddock. I work at the Schultz Studio in Northern California, and today we're going to do everybody's favorite, Snoopy doing the happy dance. For Snoopy dancing, it's mostly about motion, and his head tips up slightly. So we're going to do a couple of light circles to get the placement for his head, for his head and his snout. Making sure I'm not drawing this front one too long. Okay. And then his body is sort of like a bowling pin, but we're going to curve it just slightly because he's in motion. He is dancing. So sort of a teardrop shape. That's going to be his body. So this gives us the basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly, I'm not going to darken it completely, but I'm going to lightly do the shape of his head just so I make sure I get it right. The neck comes in right here. The back of his head comes down like this. His neck is very small. His stomach sticks out a little bit when he dances. So the main thing we want to put in on a dancing pose is his feet are in motion. So this is sort of his, his hind Orders, his haunch, I don't think that's what you call a dog's back leg, and his foot. And then his foot's in motion, so we're going to draw his foot again right here, and again right here. So we're showing that his foot is moving. So we're not closing the shape, and we're adding motion lines. And it's going to be the same for his tail. Normally his tail would be solid, but we're going to just show his tail is wagging. He is super happy. Usually when he dances, his arms are outstretched, so and Snoopy has four fingers, unlike the kids. The Peanuts kids have five fingers. Snoopy only has four because it's a paw and not a hand. And then when he dances, his ears aren't down, they're up. So we're going to do like a rough thing where his ears go. All right, now we have the basic shape of Snoopy. I'm gonna darken him up. I'm gonna go like this for his head. I'm not gonna close this line in the back because that's where his arm is.
going to overlap that a little bit to show that his foot is actively moving. His tail. Don't forget his back spot. His ears. They're very loose. They're in motion too. And usually when he's dancing, his eyes are closed. So we're going to put his eyes very top of his head, right here. Eyebrows are kind of bumping up like that. His nose. I got the back of his head just a little bit wrong. This pose might take some practice because it's, like I said, a lot of in motion, not a lot of solid space is closed. And then we're going to add a smile because he always smiles when he dances. A little drop shadow to show where the ground is. And that's Snoopy Happy Dancing. <laughs>